In the heart of the city lived a man, a lone wolf who preferred his own company. His world was a fortress of solitude, a sanctuary where he found comfort and peace. He was not a man of many words, but his work spoke volumes about his thoughts and feelings. His creativity flowed like a river, carving its path, untouched by the noise of the outside world. This lone wolf enjoyed solitude, reveling in the tranquility it offered. His world was his canvas, and he painted it with the colors of his imagination. Yet, beneath the calm surface, a subtle yearning stirred, a desire to share his world, to bridge the gap between his silent thoughts and the bustling city outside his door. He was a silent observer, always on the periphery, watching, learning, understanding. He saw the world in a way others didn't, and in this unique perspective, he found his strength. He had always been a silent observer, watching the world from a distance. One day, an opportunity presented itself that would challenge his solitary existence. In the quiet humdrum of his daily routine, an unexpected twist arose. Our protagonist, the introverted lone wolf, found himself in a whirlwind of change. His workplace, a sanctuary of solitude where he'd subtly blend into the background, morphed into a stage of the unexpected. His boss, in a surprising turn of events, offered him a leadership role. Imagine the shock, the disbelief, the sudden surge of panic, a role that demanded him to be at the forefront, in the limelight, the centre of attention. It was as if he were asked to climb a mountain, with no gear, no map, no prior experience. His heart pounded in his chest, his palms grew moist with sweat. The fear of the unknown gnawed at him, threatening to consume him whole. He always found comfort in the shadows, away from prying eyes. But now, he was expected to lead, to guide, to inspire. The mere thought sent shivers down his spine. His self-doubt reared its ugly head. The voice inside him that had always whispered he was not good enough now screamed it. Could he really take on this role? Could he really lead when all his life he had followed? The questions swirled in his mind like a tempest in a teacup. Yet as the storm raged within him, a tiny glimmer of curiosity sparked. What if he could do this? What if he could overcome his fear, his anxiety, his self-doubt? What if this was the very challenge he needed to outgrow his inhibitions? His fear was palpable, his uncertainty undeniable. But there was something else, something stronger, a flicker of hope. A hope that maybe, just maybe, he could prove his doubts wrong. Maybe he could step out of the shadows and into the light. He was standing at the edge of his comfort zone, looking into the unknown. And so the lone wolf decided to step out of the shadows. This was no ordinary task for him. The world outside his comfort zone was vast, intimidating, and fraught with challenges he had never faced before. But he was determined to overcome his limitations, to push past the boundaries that held him back, to conquer the fears that had kept him isolated for so long. Our protagonist found himself in unfamiliar territory. He was no longer just a spectator, but an active participant. Every day was a battle, a struggle to understand and be understood. He grappled with the complexities of communication, the delicate dance of words and emotions that was so second nature to others. He fought to comprehend the nuances of human interaction, to decipher the unspoken language of gestures and expressions. His journey was not without its pitfalls. There were moments of misunderstanding, instances where his words fell short or were misconstrued. He stumbled, he faltered, and yes, he even fell. But with every misstep, he learned. With every failure, he grew. He began to understand that it was not about avoiding mistakes, but learning from them. That it was not about being perfect, but being genuine. He also realized that leadership was not just about making decisions, but making the right ones. It was about considering the needs and wants of others, about understanding their perspectives and empathizing with their struggles. It was about creating a sense of unity, fostering a sense of belonging, and building a community that thrived on mutual respect and understanding. Yes, the battle was hard. Yes, the battle was taxing. But our lone wolf was not deterred. He was not disheartened. He understood that the road to leadership was a steep climb, filled with obstacles and challenges. But he also knew that the view from the top was worth every struggle, every hardship. Despite the struggles, he remained determined to conquer his fears. He knew that this was just the beginning of his journey the first step towards becoming a leader. 
and he was ready to face whatever lay ahead to continue his battle to keep pushing forward because he was no longer just a lone wolf. He was a fighter, a survivor, a leader in the making. Slowly but surely, our lone wolf began to change. There was a stirring within, a spark of determination that began to kindle a flame. The world around him seemed less daunting, less imposing. He was still the same individual, yet he was different. He was evolving. The journey of self-discovery was arduous, but it was also rewarding. He found that he had a voice, one that was unique and powerful, one that resonated with the hearts of those around him. His words, once timid and hesitant, now flowed with confidence and conviction. His communication skills were improving, and with each conversation, each interaction, he was becoming more at ease. As he honed his newfound skills, he began to build relationships. He was not merely communicating, but connecting. The people around him were no longer strangers, but friends, each one unique, each one valuable. He saw the beauty in diversity, the strength in unity. His team was a mosaic of talents, each piece contributing to the bigger picture. He also realized the power of community. It was more than just a group of people. It was a source of inspiration, a wellspring of ideas. It was a place where one could learn, grow and flourish. It was a place where one could be oneself, yet part of something bigger. It was a place where one could find solace in solitude, yet find joy in companionship. Stepping out of his comfort zone was not easy, but it was necessary. He had to confront his fears, face his insecurities. But each step taken, each hurdle overcome, was a testament to his strength, his resilience. It was a testament to his transformation. And so, our lone wolf was no longer lone. He was surrounded by a pack, a community that he had helped build. A community that valued him, respected him, looked up to him. He was not just a member, he was a leader. He was no longer a lone wolf, but a leader of a thriving pack. In the end, our introverted protagonist had become a leader, connecting with others in ways he never thought possible. As a leader, he started to guide his team, not with loud commands, but with a quiet confidence that resonated with everyone around him. He had discovered that leadership was not about dominating the conversation. It was about listening, understanding and empowering others to be their best. His transformation was not an overnight miracle. It was a journey filled with small victories and hard-won lessons. He learned to communicate, not because he had to, but because he wanted to. He cultivated a deep sense of empathy that allowed him to connect with people on a level he had never experienced before. His team saw the change in him. They noticed his dedication, his willingness to help, and his earnest desire to create a positive environment. They started to trust him, to respect him, and ultimately to follow him. He was no longer a lone wolf. He was their leader. Under his guidance, the team began to thrive. They worked together, supported each other, and achieved their goals. They celebrated their victories and learned from their failures. They became more than just a team. They became a community. His leadership style was different, but it was effective. He showed that you didn't have to be the loudest person in the room to have the most impactful voice. He proved that introverts, too, can be great leaders. His journey was a testament to the power of embracing one's individuality and using it to make a difference. And so our protagonist had transformed. He had overcome his social anxieties, stepped out of his comfort zone and connected with others in a way he had never thought possible. He had become a beacon of hope for those who felt misunderstood, those who felt alone, and those who were searching for a sense of belonging. From a lone wolf, he had become a beacon of inspiration for others.